Well, some people in Gross Point Park are very excited over the state's decision to approve plans for a new sewage pipe. It's called a relief sewer, and it would empty into Lake St. Clair, not far from the mouth of the Detroit River. And as you can imagine, not everybody likes that idea. Pamela Osborne live with how this all came about and what it could mean for the water in the lake and river. Pam. Well, Kimberly, I reached out to officials in Gross Point Park earlier this afternoon for some sort of comment or to get them on the record within the past couple of seconds. Really, I just got a statement from them, which reads in part about this specific project that the valve will allow Gross Point Park to combine its sanitary flow into its storm water flow at the Patterson Park Storm Station. That's its a plan that some people here in the Jefferson Chalmers community have an issue with. You know, we're shell shocked down here whenever we, we have a rain forecast. John Myers is concerned there is even more trouble to come to the Jefferson Chalmers community he's called home since 1994. In February, Gross Point Park was issued a permit by Eagle, which would allow them to construct an extreme emergency relief valve. That valve, whenever used, would reportedly dump sewage upstream from the Detroit River. We knew of the um, extreme emergency release valve that Gross Point Park was attempting to permit, and yet there was no public comment opportunity to look at the draft permit. There was no public hearing um, and there was no opportunity for us to review. Jay Jurgensen is the lead organizer of the Jefferson Chalmers Water Project. The group has been working with city and state leaders to protect the neighborhood canals, which have seen its share of filth over the years. So it's literally dumping sewage on its downstream neighbors. It's his understanding the valve would only be used in extreme situations, but that's little reassurance. Even though that extreme emergency release valve is only supposed to operate under certain instances, twice a summer, no less than that, over the last decade, we've seen discharge from a similar outfall. And I did reach out to Eagle to see if they had anybody available to speak to these specific situations in which that valve would be able to be used and to talk about the impact to other communities such as Jefferson Chalmers. I have not heard back from them yet, but I do want to mention the Jefferson Chalmers Water Project believes that there is a solution out there that could fit everyone if they work together as a region and not by municipalities. We're going to post that entire statement from Gross Point Park on our website. You can read it there at clickondetroit.com. For now, reporting live, I'm Pamela Osborne, Local 4. Okay, thanks for the update, Pam.